Hey, welcome back. Van here. In this video, we're going to be making Alaska-inspired birch syrup beef jerky. Birch syrup is a new one to me. All I know is they can't produce very much of this in the state of Alaska, and this actually came from Alaska. I bought this for you. I made this recipe for you. So I'm going to open this up and just see. It says it's like a maple syrup, but it's got more of a smokier taste. Well, it's sticky. You know, it tastes like molasses and a maple syrup. That's not bad. We're gonna get a quarter cup. That's what the recipe calls for. Oh, heck, it looks like molasses. It's just thinner than molasses. In this recipe, we're gonna use a half a cup of soy sauce, half a cup of Worcestershire sauce, fourth of a cup of apple cider vinegar, fourth of a cup of honey, one tablespoon of smoked paprika, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of black pepper, a fourth a cup of birch syrup. Wow, this, the smell in the room right now is amazing, I'm telling you what. It does smell a lot like molasses. Mix our marinade up real good. I went to Sam's Club and picked up an eye around and started cutting the cap off of it. Then I ran it through my jerky slicer. Add the meat to the vacuum marinade tumbler. If you don't have a vacuum marinade tumbler, it's all good. All you need to do is do what I'm doing with this, except for put it in some uh, Ziploc bag for four hours overnight, somewhere in there. We're gonna pour our mixture in here. 15 minutes in this vacuum marinade tumbler is like 24 hours. One thing I like to do when it's got a lot of uh, spices left in there is I'll put a little bit of soy sauce or Worcestershire in there and see if we can't get most of it out. There, that should work. Turn this on. Pull a vacuum. Vacuum's pulled. Lock it. Make sure the lid's on good. The initial shake. And 15 minutes. All right. Let's see here. Let's see here. Oh, boy, that smells good. Oh, yeah. Uh, before we get started, this is where I purchased the birch syrup from. And maybe one day I'll have my recipe on the inside here. Showing how to make bir Alaska-inspired birch syrup jerky. Today we're using the Nesco FD80 dehydrator. This jerky is going to take longer than two hours this is going to be more like four to six hours since we're using the thick sliced it's more like a quarter inch slice from the jerky slicer so last that right there there's several things i like about this nesco dehydrator one that's made in the united states two it's dishwasher safe three this got multiple settings you can choose from here and four it's super quiet so we're gonna come back and check on this in four hours, maybe three, and see what happens. Yeah, let's check it in three hours, but I know it's not gonna be done. Oh, well, heck yeah, three hours. Let's look at it. No, not quite. We're just gonna flip all this over. Oh, wait a minute. Look, that piece right there. That's done enough to try. All right, what does birch jerky taste like? This is fresh. Hmm. You know what? I'm not going to tell you till it's done. <laughs> Let's check the rest of these. All right, the last piece. Uh, condensed them up to get away, get rid of two racks, so more heat will be distributed amongst the others. And as I did that, I found a few pieces. Kind of like when you're blackberry picking, you found some good ones, and you just can't wait. You try them out and keep eating them. No, keep eating them. That's all I got to say. Keep eating them. Another good thing about making a small batch beef and jerky. Fire in the hole. Ha! Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna come back. It's been three hours. We're gonna come back in another hour and check it. Pretty sure it ain't gonna be done. It's gonna be the hour after. All right. Check it out. See where we're at. Four hours. 
come back in a minute and show you what all we got. All right, we didn't get a whole lot off after four hours. So we're going to plug it back up and turn it back on, come back out in another hour. That'll be five hours into it. Let me show you what all we got off of it so far. All right there. That's what I got so far. It's five hours into it. This jerky is done. I had pulled a lot of this off before I realized the camera wasn't recording. So, yeah. There's a few of them that's got some fatty pieces in it. We're going to just sit them to the side and eat them first. There's not many of them. Yep. Golly bum. That's a lot of biff jerky. Biff jerky. Five hours. Quarter inch slices. What do you think? That's a good pound right there. It's got to be. Good pound of jerky. Five hours to make it. Number three in the videos, 50 states inspired beef jerky recipes. Let's try this out. You can smell the molasses in it. You can smell some of the black pepper in there, even though it was just a half a teaspoon. Hmm, let's try this. I've tried it earlier, but this has actually had time to sit here and yeah, let's try it. Oh. Oh yeah. That's almost like a sweet steak. That's good, Alaska. Y'all don't need to try this. Y'all don't need to try this video. Leave a video, uh, comment in the comment section down below. Tell me what you think about it. I think it turned out amazing. Wow. Until next time, small batch beef jerky, one batch at a time. I don't even know what the next state's going to be, but it's after the three A's. <laughs> hey, y'all, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. You have a good one now, and you come back. Yeah, bing. Ha <laughs> ha.